everyone so this is a new series that i want to have on my channel it's called dna dinner nayas advisors i think it's just something that is cool basically what dna is just like a friend giving you advice on how to do your makeup I by all means is not a makeup artist I'm just someone that loves makeup these are some of tips and tricks that I learned whether it's from someone else or from YouTube or just I discovered myself so in DNA I am going to categorize every steps like for foundation, powders, primer, concealer blushes etc hopefully the video won't be long and you guys will enjoy it even more because you can just watch it when you are on the go or something and hopefully it will be helpful for you guys for the first episode of DNA is going to be foundation because it is the base of our makeup routine and without further ado let's start the DNA so first thing first I always clip my hair now the most common question that I get asked for is how do I pick my foundation shade? Actually, the easier way is to go to a store, have a tester on, and just try it on. So with that having said, I am going to help you to choose your shade by scooting you guys even closer. Bear with me and my unperfect skin for example you go to store and you have tester on that's good because you can try it on so what do you need to do is actually take some and go to your jawline like this like so, and try to match it with your neck as you can see this color is a little bit too white for me so you can go and proceed to other colors then you're gonna take another clean finger and just swipe it like so now as you can see it uh still a bit lighter but it's more acceptable so as you can see this color match my neck perfectly and that's how you will find the color why is it good if you have it on your jawline because as you can see when i do this it's not visible so if you have like this weird blotchiness around this area it won't be visible and if you just dab it like so it will be invisible so if you are going to a store and you want to try it out it won't be as visible as if you try it here or anywhere else another thing that i want to mention if you are choosing your foundation is the finishes that you want so the two most common finishes in foundation are dewy and matte it depends on what you like if you like matte finishes then just go by uh, matte finish uh, foundation or you like dewy then just choose the dewy one now I'd like to mention the type of foundation that you could get on the market They have the normal foundation like this This is from Milani, this is my all time favorite And they also have like this cushion kind of foundation This is from Laneige, she's actually not mine, this is my sister And you also have this kind This is not a foundation, this is actually a tinted moisturizer this is not mine as well, this is my sister, but I just don't use tinted moisturizer. Now what's the difference is the type of coverage. So with this kind of um, foundation or base, it's actually more sheer, more natural looking, and it's not as full coverage. If you like those natural look, then this will be suitable for you, but for me personally, I like my foundation to cover all of my blemishes. So I tend to go from medium to full coverage foundation like um, the Milani one or as simple as this Moonshot one. And with this kind of cushion, it's super easy for the go. You can just have your uh, puff here and your foundation down here. But if you compare these two, actually this one contains lesser product. So if you want to have something that's for a long run, I really recommend you to go with this liquid type. But 
if you are the type that don't want to be bothered with having more tools or you just want everything to be easy then i really recommend you to get the cushion one because it's super easy to apply so for the prep before your foundation routine it's good if you have your skincare on and leave it to completely soak and after the skincare is already completely soaked you want to prime first so i don't think i will have a separate category for primer just because i think it's essential as a part of foundation there are a lot of primers out there but you can categorize it by this kind of primer this is the innisfree no sebum blur primer this is mainly for blurring kind of effect it's good if you have bigger pores and if you have oily skin for me myself i really prefer this kind of uh primer because it locks the foundation into place and i just really enjoy using it and because i have uh, bigger pores around this area it really helps to blur that area the next thing is this kind of primer this is the maybelline baby skin pore eraser as the name suggests it is for pore as well but what's the difference between the no sebum and the pore eraser is that this is more silicone -y. honestly this too is very very similar but it's just that this is more silky and satin like while this one is easier to blend and the next primer that i want to mention is this kind this is the moonshot uv protection uv bouncer and this is the mini size of laura mercier foundation primer this kind of primer is the one that is sticky on your face it doesn't have that kind of um, pore erasing kind of effect but it does help to lock your foundation into your skin because it is tacky and sometimes like for example this uh, moonshot one it has this kind of glowy effect so your foundation will look glowier is glowier a word? it's time to apply foundation now i already put my primer and another tip from me is you can use multiple primer actually i use this innisfree one on this areas as well as my nose my forehead and my chin because that areas i have bigger pores and on the outer parameter i use this moonshot multi protection uv bouncer just to give it a little nice glow and to keep my foundation in place now i want to separate this dna to two foundation routine one is for daytime as well as for uh, full coverage or nighttime so for daytime i really recommend you to go with a sheer kind of foundation because you want to feel lightweight and it won't feel as heavy but if you are a full coverage kind of girl every day then just be it i actually do that too so for today's tip i am going to use this face perfection liquid from moonshot before we actually move to the application i want to introduce you to the tools that i use i actually use beauty blender on the go this is the perfect applicator for me i am most comfortable with beauty blender because it's easy and it will give you that airbrush finish but the problem with beauty blender you will use more product sometimes the beauty blender doesn't go well with the foundation so if that happens i go with these brushes now what's the difference between this and this brushes is this is a little bit more dense both are dense brushes but this is slightly less dense for today i am going to use this brush now this should be close enough so a tip for applying foundation in daytime instead of like dotting it all over the place because some foundation actually dries down very quickly so if you dot it all around your face sometimes the patch will stay there and it's not easy to blend and you will tug your face and it will create wrinkles so a tip that is very great for that is to work in layers so what i like to do is i put the drop on my and then as you can see it's very liquidy I am going to use my ring finger and just mix it like so and do it like this and then quickly blend it with a brush this side I'm going to use a brush this side I'm going to use a beauty blender good to go from in outwards I will start you to 
do layers by layers and it's good to do this technique if you want a very flawless and non blotchy kind of um, foundation finish So as you can see, this side is more flawless than this side And if you can see, the finish is very flawless It's very um, natural looking and it's not cakey at all And what's great about this brush is because it's super dense It won't drink your foundation So your foundation will actually be spread around instead of being soaked to the brush And I am going to use the back side of a beauty blender and slowly Dab it outwards And now you're done with both surface This is with a beauty blender and this is with a brush Actually, not so much of a difference But it depends on your preference Whether you like to use brush or sponge Another good thing by applying foundation in this kind of layer manner is because it's in layer So let's say I want to have more coverage on this area I can dab more products here and blend it again with the beauty blender you have to be careful not to press it too hard or you will take the products out and there you have it it doesn't have that blemishes it looks uh, very natural for daytime it just looks like my skin but a better version of it I like to do when I use this kind of uh, clothing is to bring my oh my god bring my foundation down on my neck so the color will not be as different I know the makeup is not complete but that is it guys for today's video I hope you guys like this series and I hope it is helpful for you to choose your foundation and your base And if you want to see what kind of foundation that is matte, that is dewy, that works great, that works awesome That is not so great I have a few foundation review on this channel So make sure you subscribe and get the notification whenever I upload new videos And just join my circle of friends If you do find this video helpful, please give a like because I appreciate it so so much and yeah i guess i'll see you guys on my next video bye